Before you say anything, I want you to listen to me for he one minute. He stole my, my truck, and I busted his with his... Is she telling the truth? <laughs> Case is dismissed. But you have certain rights. Oh, wow. I know this. Is there anything you wish to say? That light was red. You went you went right through that. Have a big date or something? You're going to get this. If you keep it up, right? <laughs> William Horsley. Good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Your motor vehicle has been booted, Mr. Horsley. You have five unpaid parking tickets. Yes, sir. And they're all, they're all due to my negligence, really. Well, three of them are right outside your house, overnight yes, parking. Why didn't you pay them? <coughs> I'm, I'm a... Why didn't you pay the tickets? Speak well, I get collected uh, uh, Social Security, and I'm on a fixed income, and it seemed like every time when a ticket came up, <laughs> It uh, was when I didn't have the money or I had problems with my car, but uh, I... All right, I got it. I really got it. Right, you have to pay the boot fee. The boot fee is 100 bucks. All right, that's mandatory because the city pays a private agency $100. So already the city is out 100 bucks to, to boot your car. So, so not only did they get the money for the ticket, but they spent 100 bucks. I have, I have like 95 on me. That, I had to scrape, scrape, scarl, and scrum to get that this morning because they got a car booted in front of my house. And I don't want it to because I, I really can't afford that. How much you got on you? $75. You, you had 95 a couple of minutes ago, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, if you want to take the admit, yeah, I do 95 now. 95. I was looking for bus fare. <laughs> I didn't take it. <laughs> you can take it all. I don't care. I'll walk. I'll walk. I'm afraid to ask you again. You may have 50. <laughs> take down. I'll walk. <laughs> all right. I'm going to leave you some money. Just don't disappoint me, okay? Don't come back. Don't let them boot the car again. Angelo Miguel. Good morning, sir. I'll be on TV. <laughs> I watch the show sometimes. <laughs> Did you get these tickets just so you could be on TV? <laughs> no. No? All right. <laughs> you, you have two parking tickets. Yeah. One on Clifford Street and one on Marlboro Avenue. What do you, what do you want to tell me about these? Um, these two tickets together, they went way too high. So I know it's my fault. I didn't pay it on time. It's your fault? It's my fault. You confess? I, I, yes. It's my fault I didn't pay it you, on time. You confess to these tickets? Yes. Anything else you want to confess to? We have some unsolved crimes upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I would like to get the price reduced a little bit because it's, it's too much money. Yeah. If you can help me out with that. <laughs> Do you work? Yes. Oh, you can afford the tickets then. <laughs> Not really. I got too many bills to pay. Okay, Angela. It's $55. It's okay. Thank you. Is he here? Yeah. Patricia Petey. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, Patricia. What's that sign? My dog won't fight what? My dog won't fight, but I will. Oh, well, if you're going to fight anyone here, you're, fight, you're fighting Inspector Quinn. <laughs> right? He's the biggest guy on our side. And I only fight dogs. Right. So. <laughs> You're not prepared, uh, right? Hey, so don't get near me. Okay. All right, you have one expired meter on Orange Street. What do you want to tell me about that? There are poles the meters used to be on top of. There's there are no poles meters. that what? It's the pole that the meter used to be on top of. There's no meter on top of it anymore. And then when I called, I was informed that there's a parking ticket kiosk. Yeah, it's a, multi, it's a multi-space meter. Right? I was unaware of that, Your Honor. There was a bunch of cars parked on the street. I always park on that street when we go to child support court. I have no problem paying the ticket, but I was unaware of it. I, I really All was. Right. I would have got a ticket. I'm going to waive the penalties. So you're saving 50 bucks. It's going to cost you $25. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Have a good day. All right, you're not fighting anyone now, are you? Okay. He wasn't fighting so much, he would have saw the kiosk. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sophie Wilson. Hi. 
Sophie. Where are you from, Colorado? Yeah. Did you say yes, sir? Yeah, yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> are you a student? Um, yeah, at RISD. You go to RISD? Mm -hmm. What are you studying? Industrial design. Oh, okay. Well, you have a number of tickets. You have 10 unpaid parking tickets. Do you have a parking space? I got one now. You have one now? Yeah. All right, so you don't have to buy the parking pass. Okay, and what did you think was going to happen to these tickets that you kept accumulating? I just didn't, I couldn't pay them, and I didn't realize that they... Oh, you, you couldn't pay them? Debt. Yeah. I can now, but I can't pay the whole thing. Oh, okay. Well, you, you're, you're kind of lucky you didn't get booted. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Okay, but we're not going to do that for you. The original tickets are $220, so we're going to charge you $220. If you can't pay that today, uh, we'll put you on a payment plan. Okay. And you can work out the payment plan with Carol, okay? Okay, thank All you. All right, good luck. Oh. Chand Evan. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, you want to move your hands to your pockets? Good. All right, you have one ticket on West Exchange Street. You were parked in a prohibited area. Um, yeah, I was actually uh, attending an event, uh, Comic Con, at the Rhode Island Convention Center. And they had, the, all the parking meters had signs on it. Thank I you. I certainly agree with you. I would park them myself. Did I you also would have been in here with the ticket, too, but. <laughs> oh. Did you buy him a coffee before court began to? No? No, I did not. <laughs> we still got time, Judge. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing what a coffee and a muffin does for him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, based on the photographic evidence and the overwhelming recommendation of Inspector Quinn, the matter is dismissed. Thank you very much. <laughs> Pedro Fernandez, what do you want to tell me about this, Pedro? Um, I, I did get them. I am responsible. I, I life got in the way. I lost track of them, and they accumulated. I'm, ho I'm hoping to resolve them today. Do you Your work in, in Providence? I mean, um, you're from Fall River. These Pro tickets are... Providence and Mass. I, I own a couple of properties in uh, Rhode Island. What do you do? Uh, real estate. You're a real estate guy? Yeah. You buy, sell, fix? What do you do? That real estate management, prop uh, oh. flip properties. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out how much to find you. That's a very profitable <laughs> business, so I figure you can afford everything here. Yeah. All well, right. I'm just broke on another level. I know, I know. All right, Pedro, it's $100. Okay. Thank Good you, Your Honor. Thomas Henry Pro. Who's this with you? My sister. Melissa. Why is she here? Is she going to pay the bill? Why yeah, she she's been paying all the bills on this. This is a big ordeal because she had to repo the truck from TF. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't mumble. She's going to pay all your bills? Is that what you said? She feels responsible. This kid borrowed the truck. I had to pay to go get the truck out of TF Green Airport because he took off to Florida. And we went to let them know we were looking for the truck through messages, through other people. We knew the truck was at TF Green. I went, picked up the truck, and in the truck there was a binder of all his court stuff going on. And when I opened it, there was a ticket in there. So we had no clue about the ticket. So when I told my brother that he had a ticket in there with his truck and that if he didn't want his name being like, you know, out there like that, that he needed to get in touch with Jonathan so that he could pay that ticket. So Jonathan never told him about the ticket. It billed up to $75. Jonathan, Jonathan's the young man who borrowed the truck. Correct. Right. The ticket read for 25 I believe. Yeah. And um, I found the ticket. Two days later after I found the ticket, he received the letter in the mail. So That the, that the ticket tripled. Yes, exactly. Thomas never knew he even had a ticket. We have a, <clears throat> we have a saying down here, that, and the saying is, no good deed goes unpunished. Right. <laughs> and so this was a good deed. You let the young guy borrow the truck. He got in all kind of trouble. Then he left it at green. Yeah, the and I had to it. pay $100 to get the, the, to get the truck, truck out of the airport for well, something. How, how, do you, how do you know this young guy? Who, who is well, he? I actually dated him, and ah, he, right, yeah, well, right, you know, it happens. Right. I'm not a perfect person, but I certainly have learned a lot. <laughs> I know these things. I know these things. Judge, I'm ready to go to Florida to go look for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat>
but he took my family, like, you know, you take uh, kindness for weakness, and he I took know. advantage. This is so. an affair of the heart, I understand. <laughs> this is not a parking meter deal. This is an affair of the heart. Oh, trust me. That's dirt at the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> I mean, you, we're talking here about a ticket, a pocket ticket. You must have had some good times with this guy. It's got to be worth Listen, something. Listen, that ticket was after I done kicked him to the curb, but I'm pretty pissed that that's what he did to my brother, you know? Dr. Quinn, what do you think about this? Your Honor, I'm available right now to go down to Florida to find Jonathan to bring him back for the $75 <laughs> the court order, so. <laughs> no, you need a break. The case is dismissed. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Manette Bonilla. May I speak English? Uh, interpreter, please. Buenos dias. Yeah, would you tell Manette that she's charged with parking overnight on Pavilion Avenue? Tienes un parqueo de la noche. Fue a mi hermana que se lo pusieron que estaba donde el novio. Y yo le empreté mi carro a ella. Um, it was her sister that borrowed her car. All right, the ticket is tripled. I'm going to waive the penalties. It's $20. Te lo bajaron a $20. Thank you. Lena Ambiola. Are you here for Rebecca Week as well? Yeah, that's my mom's car. I drove it. So I just got a job at Merriam, and I was in a, I was going there during orientation week, and I didn't know employees have their own parking lot. So I was parking on the street, and I kept getting tickets. So I wasn't aware until after the fact that we have our own um, parking lot. All right. And you were driving your mom's vehicle when the ticket was, was issued? Yeah, because my car at the time was messed up, so I was using her car. It's going to be a total, I beg your pardon, it'll be a total of $70. Okay, thank you. Maria de Cruz. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Um, Maria, what uh, hold on for a minute, Maria. Okay. You have one ticket on U Street. Do you have a handicap certificate? Yes, I do. It just that. Uh, was it, was it displayed on the mirror? Yes, it was. It, what happened was a little bit of the tail of the butt of the car was in the yellow line, but I had to park there because I got a broken neck and I needed a replacement. So I didn't think I was going to get a ticket for that little piece. And then he added up and I couldn't get it right here. All right, so you were parked like about this much in the sign that said no parking, and the rest of the car was in the legal spot. But this this much. much? Yeah. That wasn't that much. It was just the tail, you know, of, of the muffler that well, showed no, and it's not big. I only got a little car. This much? No. No. No? No. This much. This much? Yes. Oh, okay. And Inspector Quinn, what's that I didn't called? I think and I was going to get a tick. What's that called? A de minimis infraction? That's called a $4 penalty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maria. Uh, I think based on the fact that you do have a handicap certificate, and it's obvious you have a, a, hopefully a temporary disability, uh, that the matter will be dismissed. Right? And I, I believe you that there was this a, a minimal infraction, and I'm going to overlook that this morning. I appreciate that, All sir. Right, good, good luck to you. Have a good day. All right. David Medeiros. Morning, Your Honor. David, you have one ticket on Pinehurst Avenue, parking left wheel to the curb. Is there anything you want to tell me about this? Well, my wife's elderly aunt lives there. She had called and said she fell, so she had just pulled up, ran in to help her aunt. But instead, she had fallen off the bed. All so. right, all right. Well, before I take action on this, like, what do you consider elderly? How old, approximately? 91. How, she's 91? Yes. Oh, she's elderly. <laughs> If you said like 55, no, you were no, gone. I was no, charging no, you the no. full fine, everything. <laughs> All right. Matt is dismissed. Thank you, Your Honor. Carlos Pereira. Good morning, Carlos. You have one ticket on Pearl Street. My wife, she, she was giving birth. Women and infant with yeah. her. Who was giving birth? My wife. Your wife did? Yeah. She did was, she have a boy or a girl? A girl. A little girl. What's the girl's name? Nila. Yeah? Nila. How many children do you have? He's my first. First baby. First baby, oh. yeah. And, so uh, the baby's only a month old. 
Uh, not even that. Almost. Well, this was on the 15th. 15th. Well, maybe it's three weeks old. Three weeks old. Almost. The, the first thing you're supposed to do is, agree, whatever I say, you're supposed to say yes. You can't, like, contradict me. I'm going to make a decision here. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're supposed to say, yes, Your Honor, the baby's a month old. If I said yeah. the baby's five years old, say, oh, yes, you're right, Judge. <laughs> All right, okay. we're going to give you a baby gift. I'm not going to fine you on this. Okay, thank you. All right, spend the money on the baby. Okay, thank you. Good morning. You have a ticket on Angel Street. Now, yeah. you're a repeat offender because you were before <laughs> me before, right? Oh, I come on principle if I think, I, I, but I pay my fines when I admit my own. If I remember, you before me. I just me, paid another fine, I, yeah. If I remember, you, you work at Brown. Yes. What do you do? I'm a professor. What do you teach? History. Anyway, tell me. Uh, well, well, I your, brought your a photograph. You're parking on Angel yeah. Street. I brought a photograph because this is right uh, in Wayland Square, and uh, I had to run into CVS to get a thing to get one oh, thing, and it was um, most of the parking spaces in front of CVS were handicapped. So I just moved down the street, and then I got a ticket ten minutes later. So I want to show you the photo. Yeah, show it. The photo. Oh. No. The I'll photo shows, that's, that's the, my car, and then it shows a sign way down the street, and it's behind a um, driveway. So, you know, I kind of saw that far down the street, but then there's a driveway, so I always assumed that the driveway breaks those signs. I thought the sign says don't park in front of the driveway. Yeah, you were parked right, right near that, what's that holding store there, Bianco? I, yeah, it's a holding yeah. store. Just yeah, there. yeah, yeah, right around. You know, from the Seven Stars. Fashion, fashionable woman's clothes. It's <laughs> yeah, something like that. Too expensive for me. <laughs> I'm just a poor professor. I think they have a sale this weekend. Fifty <laughs> percent off. <laughs> Maybe I'll go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Based on the photographic evidence, the matter will be dismissed. Yeah. Thank you. You are watching Caught in Providence. It's Tim Kraska. Thank you. Good morning. You're charged with uh, overtime parking, Mr. Kraska. Yeah, uh, I think I looked correctly at the errors, and I think there's no limited parking. My car is Audi Q5, the gray one. Yeah, well, I mean, you're charged with parking there more than two hours, or more than three hours. There was a three-hour zone, but on the right side, not where I parked. Could you please look at the second picture? The no parking zone ends before where I parked the car. This that, picture is where it was parked? Yeah, exactly. You're showing me a photograph that has your car in an area that says you can't park. That's not correct. On the other picture, the no parking zone ends before where my par car was Let me parked. See these photographs don't help. The question is, were you on the street more than three hours? I, I, yeah, probably I was, yeah. The signs are clear. Signs says you can't park more than three hours. There are two, there are two scenarios based on the photographs. Right. One, on one side of the sign, you can't park at all. On the other side, you can park for three hours. I, I, I'm That's what the signs say. I disagree. No, it's just like on one side it says three hours, which was before, and then there's a middle area where it says no parking, and I was on the left side of this middle area. Two pictures in front of the car. There's like a middle area where there's no parking allowed. Let me see this. Sir, okay. it is abundantly clear, based on the photographs that you have submitted to the court. There are two signs. One says no parking. One says three hour parking. The threshold issue is, were you there more than three hours? You said yes, it's $20. I still don't understand that. Mark Kastler. Morning, Your Honor. Yeah, one second on Broad Street. Parking during an emergency. Was this the festival? Yes, Your Honor. Matters dismissed. Thank you. Betty Glow. Good morning, Your Honor. 
Your motor vehicle has been booted. It's going to cost you $130 for the tickets and a $100 boot fee. So it's going to cost you $230. I'm sick. I'm not working. I'm only on SSI, so I cannot afford the 230 at once. Well, you got to pay $150 to get the boot released. The and then we'll put you on a payment plan for the rest. Okay? Okay, thank you. Hi, uh, I'm calling about the show. I think Judge is uh, doing an excellent job. I think he's the man. I think he's excellent. He's fair. Thanks. Judge, you gotta find them more and more. You're too lenient. Right. Judge Capri, you're doing it. It's a good, good job. Keep it. Bye. <laughs> Hello, I'm just the kid, but sometimes I watch this, so I think Judge DiCaprio is a good guy. Um, when I grow up, I want to pursue a job like being a judge, and I want to be just like him. Okay, thank you. I'm Frank O'Donnell. Tune in next week, and until then, don't get caught in Providence.